I was a part of the movement to register black people in this country in the South to vote. I was part of that. I faced terrorist white people who threatened to kill me. They were charging that it was outside agitators who sent us there. They were charging that the Russians, communists told us to come there. We didn't have any stake of our own in the interest of our own. And so they were killing us. They bombed our churches. They assassinated leaders, et cetera. are beginning to understand that we are one people, one Africa, one nation that has been forcibly dispersed and then put down on this land that has been stolen, renamed, like they renamed the land, and then so renaming the land, they disguise who they are, and then they, they uh, disguise the fact that this is stolen land, stolen resources. And I said, well, that happened a long time ago. It ain't that damn long. It ain't that damn long. In terms of the history, African history is like the blink of an eye. The whole social rotten social system got its genesis from what they have done to us and what they have taken from us. And they know that there's no way in hell for them to maintain the status quo without using the most vicious kind of violence against black people every day of our existence because they know that there's going to be awakening and that Africa will take back what belongs to us. Human and material, and that's the way it's going to be. And this is the thing that makes us a problem. Africa must be free. And I mean this in a literal sense of the world. African people, black people who brought human life and civilization to the planet Earth. We must be free. We must reclaim our dignity. And there's no such thing as a dignified slave that's not engaged in the struggle to kill the slave master and overturn the system of slavery. You cannot have any dignity. You cannot have any dignity without that. <laughs> 